Joining us is our good friend. He is a chef and the chocolate boss on this show, <laughs> Jacques Torres. Thank you, Rachel. Congratulations, because this show is such a big hit, it just got picked up already for season two. Great! Woo! Thank you. <laughs> and we also noticed that you went on a little diet between season one and season yes, two, didn't you? Yes, I have a little one, and he make me run after him. He's a one year <laughs> and a seven months, and oh my God, you run so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, though. Congratulations. Thank you very What's much. What's his name? His name is Pierre. Ah. Oh. Very French. Very French. Petit Pierre. And, does, and you think he's going to be a chocolate master? Like I don't know, but he's a chocolate eater. Oh, yeah. my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay, know, what's the first thing you're going to show us today? So We're going, going to, to start with these cupcakes? Uh, yes, we have this cupcake. I, I want to show you some fast decoration. I'm going to grab a marble on the back. I think it's coming, yes. Okay. So I have a cold marble here. So those are very simple decoration. So that might work and Thank might you, not sir. work. Let's see if it works. You put a little chocolate on top of the marble like that. Take a, an offset spatula, just spread the chocolates, just this way. So the marble has to be very flat, and then you just cut top and bottom. And look at that, the chocolate is just coming out. I know, and isn't as that it beautiful? Out, what you do, you, you're going to put that around it, you break it, it doesn't want to break, you break it somewhere, and pinch the top, and this is an easy yeah, decoration to do. Yeah, of course you do, do, Jacques. This is so easy. Easy decoration <laughs> to do for little cupcakes. It is. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. So, another, another technique. I'm sorry. I'm going to move that okay. aside. Another thing that um, you can use a piping bag. I usually, I usually make my own. Right, uh, just out of paper. Part little corny. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a little chocolate in there. Then I use something called acetate paper. That's the same plastic that you get when someone buys you flowers. Whoops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so acetate paper. So you take the acetate paper, put some little dots. Or you can do that with a spoon, too. You don't have to do a fancy paper cone. OK, so just like that. I don't put my glasses, so I don't know how that's going to come <laughs> out, OK? So you do some little uh, decoration. That's sweet. And let them dry on the table. So like they dry pretty fast, like that. And then when you take them, you can help me with that. You can just glue them around and make a little... Um... Well, you could, you could take two of them and make a bunny. Oh, yes, exactly, <laughs> for the ears. <laughs> That's it. So we put that around and we, we decorate the, the, the cupcake Beautiful. this way. Put a little, maybe one or two on the center. And that's Gorgeous. it. So it's something very easy to, to decorate with dark chocolates. OK. Beautiful. The last thing that I want to show you, and those, those are very fast uh, little things to do. I have some white chocolate color with a little bit of uh, red. Food coloring, yeah. Food coloring. And usually I use, uh, of course, um, natural food color. Do you remember the first thing you baked? How old you were, maybe? Oh, I was very young. I did, um, I love to do meringue because you cannot burn the meringue. The meringue dry in the oven That's and not right, cook. Yeah. And I buy, I, I actually, my mom has that machine that you put in a freezer and go wow, 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 and make ice cream. <laughs> yes, yes. So I used to put ice cream on the middle, on the, on, in between the two meringues, yeah. whipped cream, and with a piping bag, I was piping that around. And when I learned how to do that, I was doing at least once a week, I was doing those things. And my mom was very patient because after I finished working in the kitchen, when, when she come in the kitchen, you can hear your feet <laughs> <laughs> with the sugar and the meringue and the mess that I was making. But she always been very supportive of me, you know, doing what I do. So, a little bit of red chocolate with the back of the spatula, make some lines. squiggles, yeah. Do put a little bit of dark chocolates over, and this is what you get. Oh, that's cool. You cut with a... That's cool. You cut with... A little uh, Beautiful. And you just put them on top of your cupcake. So those are very simple. Everybody on their way home today is going to spend like $87 buying chocolate. <laughs> We're all going to go home, put our little marble cheese board in the freezer, <laughs> try and do all this, and we'll be like, ah! <laughs> By midnight, we'll all be eating Etenmans out of boxes. <laughs> if it doesn't work, you can always eat it. You can always just it's eat the fine. chocolate. It's fine. <laughs>